The Pentagon has revealed it's planning to fire a missile from a U.S. Navy ship in the next few weeks to destroy one of its own spy satellites in space. Otherwise, it'll crash back to Earth, full of toxic fuel, which experts say could be fatal if inhaled by humans. They deny it's a move to protect classified information. Here's Deputy National Security Advisor James Jeffries. Uh, what makes this case a little bit different, however, uh, and in particular for the President and his consideration, uh, was the likelihood that the satellite, upon descent to the Earth's surface, could release much of its 1,000-plus pounds of hydrazine fuel as a toxic gas. It's hoped controlling the re-entry will help the malfunctioning 5,000-pound satellite come down in an ocean. General James Cartwright explains. We'll use one missile with two backups. We'll have three ships on station, but it'll be one shot. The other missiles are there principally in case something in the launch phase does not work. We believe that the window for this activity will start here in the next three or four days and will be open for about maybe as many as seven or eight days. Uh, much of this depends on the heating of the atmosphere. Um, so we're trying to build, knowing that, where would the best position be from the Earth to launch a missile to intercept that would drive this down into the ocean. Um, and that's our objective. Not quite Armageddon, but a hair-raising mission nonetheless.